Hey gangsters, what's up? Welcome to Emlyn in the Mix. I'm back in the studio again for an amazing episode for you guys. Basically, I'm working on this new track, If You Only Knew. I'm just going to be working on that now, so come join me, have some fun in the studio again. Uh, hopefully you get some tips or some hints or some tricks on whatever you guys are producing out there, or you're just watching this because you just want to watch me uh, make some mistakes in the studio or something like that. No, I'm sure you're not watching, you're not a hater. Let's get stuck into it, hey? First off, I want to finish the radio edit, so I'm opening up the radio edit. One thing I did want to note was the camera I'm using is the Zoom Q8, it's awesome. Basically, it can record up to four tracks of audio at one time, which is the reason why I got this camera. So, um, if you're wondering when I'm playing the tracks off the computer here, it's because you're getting a direct feed. It might sound a bit weird, like I've dubbed it in, but actually you're getting a direct feed from the computer, which is really awesome. So what I did last night, just a quick brief overview of where this track's going. Um, so basically I did a mix with nothing on the master, but then I did a quick master of my own using uh, Isotopes Ozone 6, which is the latest incarnation of their mastering software. It's freaking awesome. Um, so I used that just so I could get a nice feel. and. Actually, it ended up sounding really good. I'll play it back for you here. There's a few things I'm going to change. Um, but I'll play it back for you here. you get the direct feed. And uh, it actually, yeah, it's a pretty hot master. It's pretty loud, actually. So I'm just going to check, make sure this isn't going to blow your ears. Here we go. Ah, it's good. Music playing, lights are flashing, people dancing. Little do we know. That's why we love the music Keeps us coming right now Yeah If you only knew If you only knew I'm just going to stop it there, but you would have been getting that um, direct feed there, which is pretty cool. Um, so just in that first drop, we've got that overlaying sort of piano uh, going over the... It's kind of like the hook for the chorus, really. Um, but because that's the first chorus, I'm actually going to take that out of there because I think it's... Um, when you're writing a song, you want, you want the song to build up. We're going to drop this little lead uh, piano thing. You're going to hear what I'm going to take out here anyway. Um, just from this first chorus, because I, yeah, I don't want it there anymore. I've decided. So, we'll go, we'll go back to the drop. Yeah, keep it simple, it's good. Alright, I'm just going to stop it there to explain what's going to happen next. So the next chorus, actually, we're sort of almost going all in here um, because you've got the little underlaying uh, sort of lead type thing uh, with all the vocals. Um, so we're sort of really building it up. And then we basically repeat that with the third chorus. You know, it's a, a hit record, so you want it to have that element of catchiness 
and I think that doing it twice works really well. So I'll just play this next chorus so you can hear how it sounds when it comes in. Yeah, so what you can see is I've added that little catchy lead thing just over the first half of that chorus and then the second half of that chorus sort of well it mixes up which is really nice because you got the you got the little other there's an underlying there's like two leads going plus your pianos. But basically the third chorus repeats itself, so I'll just play this one out for you. <laughs> Yeah, so there you have it. Um, so your third chorus is basically repeating the second chorus. You've got your intro chorus, the first chorus, which is sort of just teasing what's coming up. I think the structure of this song works really well. It's funny because it is a dance song and I'm only using like this one or two or three lines or whatever, it's four lines, not very much. And it works so well uh, in terms of catchiness and not being too repetitive, but it's still repetitive. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I just wanted to show you how this single's coming along. It's, it's coming up really good. Um, it's pretty much nearly finished. I will uh, I will get to working on some new material in the Emlyn in the Mix video, so you're not constantly listening to the same track. Uh, it's just very exciting because I haven't had a release since November, so I'm super pumped about this release and just get this one out there and move on to my next project. Thanks heaps guys for tuning in and definitely subscribe to the channel, like the video, subscribe, do what you gotta do guys, get on it, Emlyn in the mix, let's do it.